Merry Christmas! This is the second video in my Christmas Tide series. The others are linked in the description down below. Welcome! Subscribe if you like Christmas because boy do I like Christmas. So much I'm continuing it for 12 days after Christmas Day. <laughs> well, I'm not. History is. Blame history. Today we're going to a family lunch, hence the dressed up. Although, let's be honest, I'm fancy every day. The 26th of December is celebrated as Boxing Day in the United Kingdom and is celebrated by a number of countries that were previously formed part of the British Empire, its own level of guilt. It's a bank holiday, although it falls on a weekend, the holiday can be the day after or even two days after. What on earth is Boxing Day? I hear you ask. In the liturgical Canada of Western Christianity, Boxing Day is the second day of Christmas Tide. Watch my previous video for the explanation of Christmas Tide. But again, what is Boxing Day? Spoilers, but please keep watching. No one knows. There are competing theories to the origins of the term, none of which are definitive. Bummer, I looked them up. So, the Oxford English Dictionary gives the earliest attestation from Britain in 1830s, defining it as the first weekday after Christmas Day, observed as the holiday to which postmen, errand boys, and servants of various kinds expect to receive a Christmas box. So is that what Boxing Day is about? This is mentioned in Samuel Pepys' diary entry for some time in December, I can't remember, in 1663. This custom's even linked to an even older British tradition, because since servants would have to wait on their masters on Christmas Day, they were therefore allowed the day after Christmas Day as their day off, where they could go and visit their own families, because they had their own lives. The employers would give each servant a box to take home, containing gifts, bonuses, leftover food, clothes they didn't want, scraps of wealthy people's stuff. And then you get the European tradition, which has long included giving money and other gifts to those who are needy and in service positions, which again dates back to the Middle Ages, but the exact origin is unknown. And it's also believed to be a reference to the alms box, which is put in places of worship to collect donations to the poor, such as in um, a church, which you still see to this day. Even in my Quaker meetings, we have a box uh, for donations to whatever charity we are supporting that month or that year. Also, it may come from a custom in the late Roman Christian era, that kind of blending of times, wherein metal boxes again were placed outside church to collect special offerings tied to the Feast of St. Stephen, which it also happens to be today. But what does that mean in today's world, where we don't have servants? Some people do. Very rich people do. No! Christmas sales! In the UK, Canada, Australia, Trinidad and Tobago, and other places that England used to own. Again, sorry about that. Boxing Day is primarily known as a shopping holiday. Much like, if you're American, Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, when many retailers open really early in like 4 a.m. and offer massive deals and loss leaders to draw people in. Um, a loss leader is where you sell something for under the price it costs you to sell it. So you're losing money on it, but people come into your shop, buy that thing, and then they're like, I'm also gonna buy these 10 other things. It's not uncommon for long queues, massive crowds. Since, you know, huge crowds rudely shoving each other is my idea of hell, literal hell, um, I've never actually gone to a Christmas sale. Is that surprising? I don't know. Um, instead, my family used to go and watch my cousin Morris dancing. This is Morris dancing, if you don't know. Yeah, I might make a video on just weird British traditions. So please like this video if you would enjoy seeing that as part of this Christmas Tide series. England, we're really weird. I, yeah. <laughs> Good evening. I have devolved into wearing the hoodie. Now, Claudie, we're gonna open presents. Day two. <gasps> Hello. Bye. And you have a few more days of life. Eleven. You will continue, tree. Continue. Until we throw you onto a pile of other dead trees. It's really quite sad, isn't it? Yeah, let's not concentrate too much on that. Try not to think about it. Okay. You've brought so much happiness into our lives, though. Your life was not in vain. Anyway, 
<laughs> we decided it wasn't really fair that yesterday we were the only ones who got presents, so... Carrots. Sit. Stand. Circle. Sit. Good boy. Tilly, paw. Very nice. Tilly, stand. Tilly, sit. Circle. Sit. Good girl. Okay. Why? Yes, why? You're gonna let's pass our presents to each other. Oh, okay. You ready? Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> Do you like my joke? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine's actually really massive. Yeah. Cool. To my other half. Mm. Oh, is it gonna be? I don't know. Two turtle doves. Oh. Alright, you open yours first. Oh. Sorry, did you write something on the... <laughs> she wrote something on the inside flap. Oh no! Oh, oh. You're doing it. Trying to be really careful. Wait, I, I just tear at the front, right? You oh, didn't yeah. write anything on the front. No, no, no. Okay. I mean, this is very <laughs> It's me all over that, isn't it? It's just like, <laughs> didn't make it easy for you. Okay. All right, there we go. Um, honey, did you write, did you write it and then stick down the edges? Yeah. No, <laughs> this is even more fun because you can read it through <laughs> the back if you read it back to front. <laughs> fun fact. Fun fact. Number one. Turtle doves, num oh, number one. Turtle doves are the UK's smallest native pigeon, weighing 100 to 180 grams. Thank you. <laughs> Next <Fun> fact. <laughs> they migrate at night, traveling up to 700 kilometers and flying up to 60 kilometers per hour in one night. Ooh. Next fact. They mate for life and are thus a symbol <laughs> of devoted love. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Love you. I thought it was quite good. And there was something inside this envelope of fun facts. Ooh! It's a little turtle doves on the love cage. It's a gazebo with turtle doves on the top. Oh, I love that. I made that. Huh? I made that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it, you know me so well. Okay. I didn't actually make it. All right, let's open mine. Oh, I die. Whoa, what is this? Oh, 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 oh. What is oh, oh. Some Velcro? Oh, no, that's not the <laughs> gift. This way, I need to pull this camera down just for a moment. <laughs> Look how into this he is. Oh, that's cool. It's like a, it's some artwork mm -hmm. of two little birds. They They're like. not turtle doves. And at the back, it says that it goes towards one. If you buy one of these, one whole tree is planted. So actually, that's really lovely. There we go. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Thank you. It's very thoughtful. Oh, you're very welcome, darling. I can hear them. <laughs> I think I think Christmas has really disturbed me this year. <laughs> we might be a not, bit over just tired. Not quite myself. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, should we have a lie down? Yeah. <laughs> no, I just did Christmas. Christmas! <laughs>